Are you ready? Let's go. Still stepping around. Hey, what? I have never had a calf do that in my life. Hey guys, welcome back. We're out here for day two. These are our registered heifers. We're gonna take them across the road, film them here a little bit. I got a different helper today. Somebody you guys haven't met before. This is my sister, Morgan. She uh, grew up, showed cattle with me. She's got an off-farm job just like I do and uh, doesn't, come, doesn't come down to help the farm very often, but can when we need, need to help. This uh, group right here that you're seeing is our uh, commercial heifers that are uh, all black. And then our baldies, if you can see some white faces in the back, are uh, the next group. So we're gonna, we're gonna film these uh, <clears throat> walking out the barn as a group. Um, these calves here will be sold on uh, March 20th at our sale in groups of uh, three to five. So uh, they'll be paired up kind of by, by weight and, and, and a pen size and stuff. We still gotta get that done. And uh, well, we hope you like it. Wave a camera again. Well, girls, off the hay. Out you go. Let's go. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on. See the hole. Go outside. Come on. Out you go. What are you wearing mud boots for? I don't know where my real boots are. Well, that's a problem. Uh, I assume they're in our parents' house, but I really don't know. Hmm. Maybe you should get that figured out. Yeah. Hey, girls, let's get the other end of the barn. Come on. Then go out into the sunshine. Okay, Morgan's gonna push you out while I film you on the other end. Everybody back away from the gate, please. Excuse me. Pretty girls. Nice white faces. Let up on them a little bit. They're coming. Come on, ladies. Let's go back with your friends. Just split you off just to make you be different. Come on. Out you go. Somebody that likes 75, she's a semi looking one. I do like that kind of head on them. Yeah. That pattern. Yeah. What, did you put them on in there? Yeah, well, maybe you are useful. You gonna load them up or you want me to? Well, I've never loaded them up, so I don't know. Oh, I guess 
So just you kind of got to bring. Should I go that way? Yeah, you kind of got to bring through three or four start, try to get them to go, and then you kind of have to also watch from that side as they're going in the trailer, but you got to keep them coming too. you to follow her a little closer this time to see if you can keep her moving. Walk straight. start closing the gate, I don't know. Wow, 
Gak mau Udah Guess we need to go up and open the gate So we can drive them in And uh, I think we Got it We got it set up We can just drive them right into the trailer I think Well girls let's go back home That way dad can feed you here in a minute Yep Come on been munching on the bull's hay. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Well, we're gonna have to go up here and spin them around. Come on, you get this one. I'm gonna push them on in there. Come on, hey, right up in there. Load up in there. Hey girls. Hey girls. Load up in there. Whoa, one at a time. Kids, the rest of your friends are back. Come on, girls. It's not half stage right. Come on. Hey, get out of there. Come on. Everybody's out. Still stepping around. Hey, what? I have never had a calf do that in my life. <laughs> Is that even one that was just in there? Huh? What's your number? You were just in there, weren't you? Yeah, you were just in there. What'd you get back in for? these guys back home video is done for the year we got a lot of computer work to do editing and stuff and uh we got a lot of things to do today today's my son's first birthday we're gonna have a little party for him tonight a little party tomorrow too with some different sides of the family and uh yeah we're gonna have fun dad's going to feed a different group right now this truck away. I'm pulling the shed so this little bottle hanging from the roof hits the windshield. Donk. And that way we don't smash our trailer that's too high. Crank window props. So when that little uh, bottle hits the windshield, we know we need to stop so we don't uh, hit this, which you can tell it's been hit a few times. It's not the first cutter that's been there either. One we had, one we hit with a full nose trailer that we forgot about we were pulling. And, Smash it all the way up in there, so the gutter still kind of works. You know. Yeah. All right, so we're back. 
grabbed a couple bales of hay here, one for each of the lots over here at Dad's house. We're gonna get a bed. These bulls, easier to feed them with the bulls not in here. So we'll get this one set first, move them in here, and we'll put them other one in there for those couple steers we got on feed. Uh, and they're actually going to town. Become beef. And then these bulls will probably end up getting to clean that hay up. They'll probably have uh, more space to roam around that way. shut these gates here too. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this setup when I take down the panels. I'm thinking that big panel may just, the prefer panel may just stay there this year and this may just all stay set up. We'll see. See what dad wants to do. Kind of hate to take it all down if we don't really need to. That, was, that right there could be kind of a problem if we end up kind of in here though because it end up being a big corner for them to jump into. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to get in too big of a hurry to take this down. But we probably will need this. We're grinding hay again. Tuesday, which you guys might get to see. If it's not windy, I think I want to try to throw my drone up and film that. still works. Wind swung the gate the other way. Come on. Hey, you're the one that caused me all kinds of trouble. Come on. You're the friendly cuss. What's up, friendly cuss? Friendly cuss. that these truck doors come on hip hip there little guys how we doing hi there yeah mama's the babies what's up yeah all right boys are going now come on fellas come on fellas
our first calf mamas getting a drink after they got fed hey girls how we doing We're gonna go uh, get the four-wheeler, just back down where this tractor goes, and uh, go turn out those heifers we just videoed so they can get fed. Then we'll turn them out in case they go venturing off into the uh, sunset. Dad's headed into the elevator to load for them right now. Got silage and hay on them. Got to add a little corn, and uh, I don't know whether they're getting stillers or not. I don't know. I think they are. comes dad with the feed. They go, they're getting their chow. Looks like your water's doing pretty good. I got it running slow. There's just a lot of them in there, so ought to be good to go. So, in case you're wondering, the reason we didn't feed them before we did that is because. Uh, Dad goes and checks cattle and stuff this time of year because we're ca at cabin first thing in the morning. And so sometimes it doesn't get started feeding until 9.30, maybe almost 10 o'clock some days, just because. And uh, they're on a total mix ration now, so they probably wouldn't have been done eating until almost now. And then, uh, so we would have had to delay it all this afternoon. Well, it just made more sense to get it done this morning. That's what we knew we had time this afternoon. Something could always come up. Now they get to eat, we get to see something else. Well, hey guys, just in case I didn't get any more video taken today, I just wanted to say, hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, comment. See you next time. Hey, well, my mamas and babies, how y'all doing? Huh? I got a full belly.
checking on you, make sure everybody's okay. Hey, there, Wallace. Whoops, somebody's getting dinner. Yeah. <laughs> How we doing, babies? What's up, pumpkin? 